It's that time of year again when we start feeding grape jelly to the Orioles. Orioles are territorial and they don't like to share their jelly. This is what they sound like when another Oriole is getting too close. Because they are territorial, it's a good idea to have more than one feeder. We have two different feeders on this double shepherd's hook, then we have another feeder on a single shepherd's hook. That way, even the more timid birds can find a feeder to go to. The feeder on the left is a more birds feeder, and the feeder on the right is a bird's choice feeder. The birds seem to like both feeders just about equally as well, as far as I can tell. Our third feeder is separated from the other two feeders by about 20 feet. As you can see, they do use both feeders at once sometimes. The bird on the right is a male oriole, and the bird on the left is a female oriole. Other birds like this male cardinal and house finch also like jelly. It seems like when cardinals use the feeders, they don't stay quite as long as the orioles. Orioles usually show up in our area about the third week in April, but this year they didn't show up until a little after the first of May. Once they get going in the spring, the Orioles in our area can go through about a half a jar of jelly a day. If you're new to feeding jelly to the Orioles, you can expect a sudden drop off of visits to your feeder at some point. The reason they suddenly don't visit the feeders as much is because once they start nesting, they're too busy feeding their babies to come to the jelly feeders. Once they're done nesting, sometimes they even bring their offspring to the jelly feeders. We really enjoy feeding the Orioles and we plan to continue. If you're feeding grape jelly to the Orioles for the first time, don't be surprised if it takes them a while to find it. Once they find it, they should come back year after year.